Hi, my name is Tiana, and I'm going to be sitting down with each of the artists responsible for the installs of public art for the Spark project at Pension Plaza. We're going to be learning a little bit more about them and their perspective on this project. So designing a bench that really kind of embraced people, um, but also felt that it worked within that, the curve of the space. And also it represented this idea of flow, which I very much feel that the staircase is about. Before I put that installation in, it was just uh, a fence around an electrical box. And you wouldn't think twice about seeing it. And you know, in the same way, like a wall before a mural goes up is just a wall. So I would hope that it would encourage people to look all around them for, for inspiration, for inner beauty think they should just go ahead and say gateway to the museum because that's where it leads and that's the function and that's what it has always been. Mm -hmm. Peace is really all about its shape and mm -hmm. I love circles and as you can see the piece has a number of circles in it. Most of my work as an artist involves circles. I've been fascinated with circles since I was a child. I love the fact that they can work together concentrically. So the color, the color grading came from the sunrise and sunset colors directly. And the work, the title, Our Presence at Dawn, is a direct connection to, between us, the observer, like the people and, you know, this, the, the Springfield community to make it that specific, and life itself. So everyone in the mural lives there wow. and they're all doing the things that they do in the park. Mm -hmm. But we've also turned it into this beautiful work of art. So we hope that it's like a bridge between um, the way people are using the park, the history and the people there and kind of this forward thinking idea about making that park a connection between downtown and the museum. Kind of a, a double wide and it's, uh, it's got like a camouflage motif, but with playful colors that kind of incorporate the, the murals that were created in the park. And it's kind of a way to camouflage uh, reading and literacy in, in a fun manner. It was really important to me to have these manhole covers be interactive because I knew that they were going to be placed in different places around the park. <laughs> and I love that it also connects to the Dr. Seuss Museum and Springfield Museum district up there so I thought it'd be really great that as you're traveling through the park that you get to see the Lorax in many different areas. The photography to me is just like we're giving thanks to the people that came before us. We started with talking about the Mexican culture that is Mesoamerica 